Previously on Headless. You are sentenced to 50 hours of community service. Jeffrey changed the combination to the safe again. This is the happiest day of my life. Mac, like Mac Wahlberg. I didn't know there was a Mac Wahlberg. Here's how we steal our treasure. And hereafter, my bloodline shall take my mother's name. Crane. Get the skull. Annika will know where the head is. The headless horseman is Henrietta Hudson. I bet you weren't expecting me. I think they are expecting you. Me, on the other hand. <laughs> uh, never gets old. Uh, you're at three million views now. At least a hundred are me. Can you at least not watch it on my phone? Oh, don't worry. You haven't missed any calls. No missed messages either. <laughs> oh, hello. Yes, I am interested in that phone and internet bundle. Excuse me, I have someone to talk to. Sorry, just dealing with the situation at work, you know how it is. Can you believe that whole heist only took 15 minutes? You really gotta slow down and appreciate all that life has to offer. Brom, it was a disaster. What? No, it wasn't. I snuck in some contraband. Polly Tahoe weren't already dead. I'd kill him with my bare hands. You know, I got friends in high places. My one buddy lives in Denver. <coughs> Caught this fella trying to break into Judge Pringle's house by pretending to be a moonbound salesman. Not too bright. It was all part of the plan. You son of a- Wait, honey, hold on. He said it was all part of the plan. I'm so sorry, Mr. Tahoe. Please excuse my wife. She's not used to being in jail. Neither am I, unless I'm trying to be. Your girl Dufay's a real firecracker. She's divorced, gave me a key to her pad. I move fast. I'm thinking about getting the crew back together. Johnny K, Johnny P, Johnny C, although he might be there. Good riddance. Wait. This might still be part of the plan. Are you serious? Those three numbskulls have been the bane of my existence since I started this job. Sometimes it feels like I'm the only cop in this town. Hello? Cat? Cat? Hi. Hi! Hi! We're busting you out of the joint. How'd you get in here? Oh, it was bananas. There were so many crimes committed and disguises donned. My life was on the line. The babes distracted Officer Meinhoff and Judy had keys. That's you. And so Kat's telling me everything about the Headless Horseman and I'm like, there's a hell! Kat, we know who the Horseman is. Yeah, let's get ahead on him. Then we can talk. Yep. Heads up, lols! Brom, no! <sighs> you're not a horse man, you're a horse her! Henrietta Hudson. And that's the skull of Annika Storms. She's the witch that beheaded you in the 1600s once we put her- <laughs> From the, uh, the diary. Uh, Annika waxed poetic about where she was gonna kill Henrietta, so maybe there's something in here that can help us, like a clue or... So many blank pages, though. 
I mean, I get that. Being consistent with a diary takes diligence. Not a lot of people are up for that, so. This looks like a riddle. Hey, we can talk about riddles tomorrow. She's been dead for centuries. One more day won't hurt her. I'm going to talk to my dad tonight. It's time for him to come clean about everything. Would you come with me? And Harry told you exactly what happened. You're the best evidence I've got. I'll come, Kat. Yeah, I think we need Ick about here. He's probably our best chance at finding Henrietta's head. Sorry, Kat Mandu. I think it's just you and wifey taking on your dad, bro. Fine. Meet us back at my house tonight, and we'll have the world's weirdest scavenger hunt. Love you. <laughs> okay, boss. Where to? Judy, can you get into the morgue? Take Henrietta and find a new skull. Ideally, someone who can help, like a, a code cracker or a city planner or something. Scuba diver. Got it. Rom, let's crack that diary and find that skull. This is so exciting. <laughs> Solving mysteries, helping out a ghost. Ooh, I feel like a badass. I feel like Mark Wahlberg in that Mark Wahlberg movie, The Lovely Bones. Mark Wahlberg? Yeah. He was like a restaurateur at a really famous burger chain, and then he decided to become an actor instead. We have to pay someone a visit first. Rom, I never thought I'd say this, but... Assemble the babes. Was that it? No, it was for me. Let's find him. <laughs> oh, Doc! Sorry for the house call. We were just in a snowstorm, and we have the frostbite. Mm -hmm. Don't let me lose my other fingies. Oh. <sighs> so, what are we doing here again? Dufay mentioned that Crayon just changed the combination to his safe. I bet that's where he keeps anything incriminating on Baltasar. Thank you, Polly Tahoe. Safe, safe. Where are we gonna find a safe in this giant house? How about that giant safe marked safe? Wow, Brom. You did good. Thanks, Dad. I mean, Ichabod. Six numbers. Okay. Try 091795. Is that your birthday? Oh my god, you remembered? Why would the doctor use your birthday? I in don't know. I don't hear you suggesting. <laughs> Just amputate it. Do what you must. We decided to go skiing despite urgent weather warnings, and we are ready to face the consequences, Doc. <laughs> Should I be concerned about high blood pressure at my age? Wait. No, 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 no. Wait, Dr. Crayon said when his divorce was finalized was the best day of his life. That was my first day of community service. October 7th. I linked our Google accounts. I use Bing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're looking for uh, anything mentioning Aunt Harry or okay. oh, always dude. Faye got that prenup. <laughs> it's all here. Baltus poisoned Aunt Harry. Dr. Crayon knew about it. What is it? It's a death certificate. For who? For Kat. It says she died a year ago. 